The Stedward Centre is the best rehab centre in the world without being a rehab centre. And as Canadians and as people that work in the centre, I know they don't like to boast about who they are, what they are and what they've accomplished, but someone has to do it for them because we really do need to let the world know the great contribution that we are making to the lives of people with disability. The Stedward Centre is a disability research centre in the Faculty of Phys Ed and Rec and we provide a ton of physical activity, motor skill development and sport programs for individuals experiencing disability in our community. Even since I was at the centre, it's broadened the sense of, of, of the clientele in terms of who they serve, but it's really about getting to the crux of it, I think getting people active. The participants that have come for 20 some years, they still speak to the philosophy and message that Dr. Stedward carries with him. We have five main programs at the Stedward Centre, the Adapted Physical Activity Program for Adults, the Free to Be Me Program for Kids and Teens Experiencing Disability, the Community Exercise Transition Program, the Athlete Development Program for Parasport, and the Functional Electrical Stimulation Exercise Program. We had a very strong children's program back in 78, 79, 80 in those early years. And then for whatever reason it started to drop off. But now to see the Free to Be Me become so successful for so many families, it's without words. Gary McPherson played that role of the executive director at the time and he saw that with the children and youth that that really brought this new sense of energy and it really supported the, the development of children into adulthood. The idea of bringing kids into the programs uh, really springboarded and, and being a board member at that time and, and for a number of years, I saw it grow immensely. Originally we called it the cage, primarily because of our location and this really creative, unique, dynamic place. So when I came in, I had it graffiti painted and some really fun exercise equipment and, and programming equipment put in. And the idea was that we'd create a space that we would provide opportunity for children, youth and families to become physically active in a non-clinical environment. Coming to the Butter Dome and seeing what it's like in the um, open hall there and spending time, you know, on the treadmill, the track, everything. I was about maybe nine or ten, I think. When he was a participant coming in for DB Mean, he was just getting exposed to the whole realm of fitness. We needed help for fitness, and we needed a certain program, you know, that could help me. So physical literacy is, is really at the core of a lot of things that we do in Free to Be Me. So we work with kids to enhance their physical confidence and confidence um, in a wide range of environments. I opened the gate in June of 2005 and it was me and 25 participants and from there it just kind of snowballed. And what it showed was that there was a real community need because by the end of year two, we had 250 children. We were working all day and all evening to run a variety of different programs. I think some of it's built to transition over. A lap pull down here is the same lap pull down you're gonna find at your YMCA. To be honest, you're probably very physically literate to maneuver in here when it gets busy because there's stuff flying and people going everywhere. So I have a daughter, Laura, and she started with Free to be me when she was a little girl around seven or eight. She wasn't successful in her community activities and she wanted to be physically active. The coaches and support people at uh, the Free to be me center knew how to accept her for what she was. I think she was going to be loud that day. Oh well, she's going to be loud that day. And that takes a lot of stress off a parent's shoulder when you know your child's not having a good day, is it gonna be okay? Are they gonna be able to go to this session, participate in this session? Yep, they were. She, she always participated regardless of how she showed up and it always ended up something positive. It brings a whole new idea of the clientele that could be served, the whole idea of inclusion, the whole idea of short-term programming and community transfer. Laura's benefited from it, she's met more people and I think that even the individuals working with her, Philip and Stephanie, they, they've benefited by knowing her. 
The Stubber Center has always held, I think, a really unique place within the Canadian landscape because we've been providing adaptive physical activity and parasport for such a long time, you know, over 36 years. I mean, how long has it been now? Oh gosh, since 78. My goodness, it's been a long time. The success of the Stubber Center has been this collective idea that we need to keep pushing. We need to keep asking questions. The approach has shifted as the context and the climate has shifted, but that the base idea of creating opportunity and supporting individuals to achieve their goals, be it athletic, be it fitness, the notion around being included, whatever it is, that has been the crux of helping or supporting individuals to achieve that goal. And it's developed uh, a certain type of empathy, a certain type of acceptance, that everybody's different and everybody has something to offer. We have to build on our successes, but we just can't, you know, keep looking back, you know. You can learn from the past, but you've got to, you've got to look and move forward.